Welcome to my channel folks. In the previous two videos, we saw how to install and configure Elasticsearch and we also saw how to configure your log stash to push the log messages into your Elasticsearch domain. In today's video, we are going to see how to configure a visualization dashboard for your log messages in Elasticsearch. So we are going to install and configure Kibana to do that. So once again, we have a couple of prerequisites. I have written a GitHub article to run us through this documentation steps. So the first prerequisite is having an Elasticsearch cluster and also the FQDN so that we can use it in our configurations. Next one is use having a server or any other instance pushing the log messages to your Elasticsearch domain. And finally, as we have done in the previous articles, we are going to accept the GPG key and also configure the repo so that we can install directly from the repo. So let's go ahead and do that. Here I am in the instance which is going to run my Kibana. The first step is to accept the GPG keys. Let us go ahead and accept that. Next is creating the repo. Let us do that. Once we did that, all you have to do is m install Kibana and it is going to take the packages and start installing it. And once the installation is completed, let us go ahead and do the configuration of Kibana. That is, we need to point it to our Elasticsearch domain. So here you can see the steps that we need to do for pointing our Kibana to the Elasticsearch domain. So I have done a quick and dirty way of pointing it uh, and making sure that you can access it from the internet. But from the production, you will probably want to put it behind a firewall or you want to have a front ending with a NAT or some other security mechanism to access your Kibana. So for learning purposes, this configuration should be good enough, but make sure this is not going into your production. So let us go ahead and add the configuration. Next step is making sure it is starting at boot time. So let us go ahead and add that. Then finally, we are going to say Kibana start. So if you want to make sure everything is fine and good, just go ahead and say status. So now that my Kibana is up and running, I should be able to access my Kibana through the browser. Remember port number 5601 is important. That is, that is how Kibana is going to access your cluster and allow you to access the visualizations. I am in my EC2 dashboard. I'm just came here to pick up the URL for my Kibana. Let's go ahead and copy that and put it into a new tab. So let's go ahead and put it in our browser window 5601. If you have not added it, you should add that port into your uh, security group. I seem to have copied the incorrect URL. Let me just go ahead and change it to the Kibana URL. Yep, there we have the Kibana is getting loaded. And the first step is to make sure that you are going ahead and adding an index. So if you go to index management, if you have an index already, it will show up here. So, and you can see the information here. So if not, you might want to add an index. So let us go to our discover stage and it says, yep, here we go. It's asking for what type of index I want. I'm going to say log stash hyphen date. That is going to be my index. And I'm just going to choose the time as timestamp as the default uh, configure settings. So the pattern is getting created. It's going to take a minute. Yep, we are all set here. So if you want to go ahead and go ahead and click on discover again, and it will start listing all the log files that has been received from the server so far. And if you want to filter it based on, say for example, messages, you can go ahead and filter it based on the messages and it will see the one server that is sending the messages and you have all the DHCP information. Or if you want to filter it, say for example, the host name, if you have multiple servers, you can filter it based on the servers as well. Let us, for example, this time based on timestamp, and you want to make a visualization for this message, all you have to do is click on visualization and it will take you to the visualization dashboard and create the dynamic charts. You can go ahead and modify them. Uh, you can change the x-axis, all those things. If you want to change the color of your chart uh, uh, in a different way, you can go ahead and create it. And you can add plugins for the world map and see where the requests are coming to your server if you have a web server running on your uh, log stash instances. So that is how you install and configure Kibana in your EC2 instances. If you have any trouble in setting it up, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with you. In the next video, we are going to see how we can do all these things natively in AWS. We will start using the AWS native services for Elasticsearch and Kibana and things like that. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.